Hello and welcome back to episode 16 of The Forgotten City. I'm Vic and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel and uh... In between episodes I decided that I would head over toward Dooley's cell so that I could be ready to start recording and uh... Well now we're talking to an out of focus wall um, that claims to be Dooley, so... Now you're all caught up. Yes, that's me. Oh, it is you. Then, thank you. You're a big helper. I was locked up, but they let me out again. I'm so happy. You're welcome. You can have my shiny plaque if you want, and maybe you can help me find my treasure. My friend Hannibal used to look after me, and he said he always would. But then he died. But before that, he told me if anything ever happened to him, I had to find something very precious. I did. What was in there? Was it gold and pearls and shiny things? Do you... Do you think you could share some with me? No, but I learned some very important things in there, and I think they might help us even more. I mean, just give the man a thousand denarii. Like, what's the big deal? I'm confused. Hannibal said it was a precious secret. It's not a treasure. It is precious, just not in the way we thought. Oh, um, all right. I trust you. Oh, look over there. Something shiny. Is it treasure? And it's just lying out here. Maybe nobody wants Take that with me. Just take it. Are you really? The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Straight out of the gate. Alright, well, here we go for another loop. Ouch. I don't really need more money, so I'm going to refrain from doing anything too silly here. Man, that old dude can really run. Well, that's it. He just whispers a prayer and then turns into a skeleton, huh? I thought it would be more exciting than that. <sighs> so how am I supposed to save everybody? get Galeria selected, and as soon as I do, Dully goes and, and breaks the rules. Maybe it's not possible. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and what you're doing with that bow on your back? Just visiting. Uh, take care of some stuff for me. Oh, you sound serious. I'm listening. Yulia. Uh huh. All right, then. What? Are you? I'll go. But once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. All right. So I've set him up to win his election. I can go ahead and make that happen whenever I like. Rufius. Rufius is who I want to talk to now. Ixian turns. Yep, that's what he does. He turns. Um. Yeah, this ought to work. So I'm pretty sure. Did you know I was headed in there? That what I need to do now. How'd you do? Is uh. Go into the temple. The Temple of Pluto slash Hades. 
but I do want to deal with the Virgil situation first. Nope, I want the other one. Nope, that's not him. I wish these people would just stay in one place so that I could find them. Is that an unreasonable thing to ask for? It's interesting that when I'm watching he falls that way, but when I'm not watching his head is in, don't you think? I'll take those and that. Thanks. And nobody else is at all concerned about the sound of that temple collapsing. Oh, here we go. What? My condition is nobody's business but mine. The many shall suffer the sins There's of the no one. need for that. I just wanted to give you this willow bark. To help you treat it. A treatment? Really? Oh, thank God. Finally, some relief after all this time. I wonder. Oh, look at that. Just that one. Do I even want to bother with this? I mean, I could tell, I could tell Santius that I suspect literally anyone at this point. Yeah. You're a good man, Galerius. Appreciate that. Now, I've got to run. Hey, buddy. Name's Rufius. Better watch your step. Are you the one threatening Virgil? No idea what you're talking about. I know it was you. I found an incomplete letter to him in your quarters. <sighs> Look, I... I haven't been at my best lately. I know that. It's the rheumatism. It starts with constant pain in all your joints. Then the pain starts to mess with your head. Makes you angry. Mean. I know that's not an excuse for how I acted. But it's the truth. But with the willow bark, I'm already starting to feel like myself again. I'll leave him alone from now on. It's not as if I was ever going to hurt him anyway. I was just lashing out. I'm going to go and clean up the graffiti. Just forget this ever happened, will you? Okay. Hey, Virgil. I have some good news for you. Greetings and salutations. Ah, a new face. Salve, and welcome to a little community. My name's... I hear we have you to thank... Don't worry about the threats. Uh, what demon or spirit? I found an incomplete note in his house. You went snooping in his place? That was risky. We're lucky you didn't cross any lines. Have you spoken to him about it? Yes. Really? How did you manage that? I found a treatment to make him stop having hurdy joints. Ah, poor fellow. I've heard that can really mess with a person's head. Well done for figuring that out. I think he wants to help clean up his graffiti, too. Really? That's promising. I'll keep an eye out for him. I'll be going now. Nice to talk to you. So I believe that's actually all the side quests. Yeah. So we've done the create a par time paradox. I don't I don't know. Let's see.
Lucretia, Maliolus. <laughs> should we should we just do them all one at a time? You don't need to say anything. Just rest up and get your strength back. Yeah, why not? Um I am I am pretty certain that ending number four lies within the temple. Um, and so we'll go and put the plaques on the obelisk and then find out what that's Even all about. But centilla, why not uh, have a little chat with Sentius about whoever's going to ruin it first? We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? I'm Vic. A curious name. Mm -hmm. To match a... I see you have the piercing and astute... Yep. You're always... Now you're... We've had this conversation before. We have? Wait, I must have... Is that about... I can't call him out on it. Uh, we've had this conversation too, and I'm in a hurry. Seems rather brash. I was hoping to ask, can we talk about who's going to break the golden rule? That's what I want. Of course. What is it? I've already figured out how to stop at least one person from breaking it. What happens now? Well, if you've stopped one person from breaking it and you're still here, then there must be someone else about to break it. Still, allow me to explain. When I discovered the ritual to Proserpina, the instructions came with a warning about paradoxes. The crux of it is this. If you do anything to change the course of history in such a way that your very being here is impossible, you will have created a paradox. To illustrate, when the golden rule is broken, I will open the doorway that will bring you here to prevent it from being broken. If you manage to succeed in saving our lives, then I will have no reason to open the doorway, and you will never have come here. A paradox. You see, the same thing would happen if you, say, inadvertently, allowed me to die. If I can't summon you, then you can't be here, obviously. If either of those things were to happen, I am given to understand, you would be flung back to your original time, having changed the course of history for us, and yourself. So the fact that you are still here means someone is going to break the golden rule, and there is yet work to do. Understand? So, that's a bit of a plot hole, isn't it? Um, Sentius has already, in a previous iteration, uh, revealed to us that he is aware of the time loop, and he recalls the previous iterations, and... Um, Telling me that I can create a paradox and escape would be counterproductive to his plan to have that not happen. So I don't think he should have told me that. I think so. Excellent. So it looks like you'll have to continue your investigation. Now, was there anything else you wanted to ask? I thought I could tell him about people that were going to break it. I was hoping to ask you some questions about my investigation. Ask them. No, uh, I don't have any questions right now. Now, of course. I think I know who it is. Yes. Here we go. It's Maliolus. Why do you say that? When he wins the election, he's going to convict you of treason and sentence you to death. What? That's. I'm speechless. How do you know? Of course, this isn't your first loop, is it? Well then, you must stop him from winning the election. I expect you'll need some kind of leverage on him, but I can't be seen to be involved in this, of course, so you'll be on your own. You'd better not waste any time, and may Swada, goddess of persuasion, go with you. I'll get right on it. Good. Thank you. Hey. I need to tell you about more people that are about to break the golden rule. Do you have any news? 
Of course. Yeah. It's Demetrius. Why do you say that? He's been trying to intimidate people into voting for Maliolus. Mm, so I'm told. This is truly atrocious behavior, which undermines the very foundations of our democracy. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. But before we proceed, I must ask, are you sure he's the one? It's him. Well then, in that case, as much as it pains me to do so, I must act decisively to ensure the survival of my people. As magistrate, I hereby declare him an enemy of Rome and authorize his execution by your hand, forthwith. All right, I'll take care of it. Thank you. Please act quickly before it's too late. All right, I'm not going to do that because uh, that's boring and yeah, enough said. Um, we can just, uh, ooh, what if I go and tell him that it's Centilla? Can I do that? That'll be an interesting one. Again, after you've carried out my order. You know what? Fine. I'll do it this one time so that I can come back and tell him about Centilla. <laughs> I do wonder if I can wind up just executing everybody in town. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Well, what do you think about that, dummy? This is, uh, not a very efficient way to get there. Got a serpentine on my way through. See, there she goes. Coming on out to let me in, but I'm not going there. Um. Yeah, you know what? I think that whoever I tell him, it's just, it's gonna be the same go execute them game. We don't really need to go and play that same game with Centilla, although that's probably the one that's most likely to be interesting. Salve, friend. Take care of some things. Just do all the things. All right. I'll go. All right, and now off to the temple. And I thought he was really fast, but he's actually maybe only slightly faster than me, if faster at all. Greetings and salutations. Oh, if I go up there too fast, then he's going to throw himself off the edge, though. Because I will have got there before Galerius, which in programming we call a race condition. Oh, wait. Never mind. Apparently he got there before it was possible to get there. I don't mind. Alrighty, so this is us on our way to what I suspect is the true ending. Swing. Okay, so I have a feeling that this is the, the time of the spoiler warning, which the opening screen of the game demanded. So, I mean, you're you're watching a Let's Play, uh, so spoilers are sort of implicit, but, uh, you know, they asked for it, so they can have it. Spoiler warning. Uh, I guess if I'm feeling really cute, I might, like, put in some effects, but um, let's be honest, I'm, I'm not gonna... So, here we go.
Ooh, loading screen. But it's, I mean, all of these are your name. Let's start at the top. And there we go. Really, we have to do this at every door? Ah. Okay, then. These people are barely clothed. What's up with that? Osiris? Yeah. I see. Whoa. This looks uh, technological, doesn't it? We have entered the Matrix. We're in a spaceship. Oh no, I was right. I, <laughs> I was right about the Stargate references all along. Okay, so now we're going to go and have a chat with a Goa'uld, I guess. And here you are. Allow me to introduce myself. As you have already gathered, I've been known by many names. Nergal to the Sumerians, Osiris to the Egyptians, Hades to the Greeks. Pluto to the Romans. But the one constant through it all has been my title, God of the Underworld. And I've been watching you with curiosity in battle ever since your life. You're unlike the others, aren't you? And what is more, you carry a weapon that was never intended for mortals to wield, and you do it so brazenly. But there will be time for your reckoning later. First, as a reward for undoing the desecration of my obelisk, I will allow you to satisfy your curiosity. Ask what you will. He's even got the glowy Gua'uld eyes, hasn't he? What is your story? My story is many thousands of years long. You will need to be more specific. What do you wish to know? You're a god? It is a matter of perspective. God is a label I was given by you mortals, not one I gave myself. Your ancestors revered me because to them, my knowledge and technology made me incomprehensibly powerful, just as you might seem so to an insect. But despite all that, there are rules even I must obey. Why do you look and sound like a man? My kin and I all adopted this form long ago, so that we might better understand it communicate with your kind. In time, we grew fond of the sensory delights of the forms. Desire, joy, ecstasy, even rage and sorrow, while an acquired taste can be addictive. May I see your true form? No. Long ago, I swore to Persephone that I would remain in this form for as long as we remained among your kind. I must honor that. Fair enough. Who is the woman on your left? This is my beloved. Like me, she has been known by many names. Eresh Kigel to the Sumerians, Isis to the Egyptians, Persephone to the Greeks, and Proserpina to the Romans. 
Or perhaps you might know her as the goddess of springtime, the cycle of life and renewal. Okay. Your gaze lingers too long. Ah, you're jealous, huh? And who is that on your right? That is my servant. You would have met by the river, though she wears many faces and goes by many names. Kumu Tabal to the Sumerians, Kurti to the Egyptians, Charon to the Greeks, and Charon to the Romans. Her role is to ferry souls between the mortal world and this one, and to make their transition as seamless as possible. For that, she earned herself the infamous, if erroneous, moniker, the Fairy. You will talk more later. For now, ask your questions. Let's talk about something else. As you wish. What is this place? It has come to be known simply as the Underworld. And it exists because of a wager I made long ago. Okay, so Future Vic here. Um, unfortunately, uh, we're going to be cutting it off. I was under the impression that we were coming up on the end here. And uh, so I continued to record for another 30 minutes after this, only to, you know, not get to the end. So we're doing a little edit, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow with a continuation in episode 17, even though past me doesn't know it yet. Talk to you soon.